Hello, I'm Dr. Bill Wagoner. Welcome to this week's Tuesday Tip. I'm betting that a vast majority of the dentists that are listening today are vaccinated, and you probably have been for several months. I'm also guessing that a lot of you have employees that are not vaccinated, and we all have a number of patient parents who have chosen not to be vaccinated. To those of us who have been vaccinated, it has been freeing to go out without a mask. And in fact, when we do enter a facility that requires masking, it's becoming a little frustrating because our previously ever present mask is now often still back in the car. So we find ourselves returning to the cars to retrieve that mask. You may or may not be aware that the CDC revised their masking recommendations for vaccinated people in May of 2021. And according to the American Dental Association, this has led to many questions from dentists. Because of the numerous questions, the ADA has created a new fact sheet that covers many of the frequently asked questions surrounding the new CDC guidelines. Questions such as, do patients still need to wear a mask when visiting a dental office? Yes. May dental health care personnel stop wearing masks in the break room? Maybe. Should dentists continue to screen patients and staff before entering the office, and what should that look like? Yes, they should, and it looks pretty much the same as it has for the past several months. First of all, remember that the CDC and the ADA issue guidelines and recommendations. Our state dental boards may actually be more directive on what we can and cannot do in our respective states. I know that here in Nevada, as of the second week of July, the state board has not made any changes in COVID policy for several months. But back to the frequently asked questions. Do patients still need to wear a mask when visiting a dental office? The CDC says that even fully vaccinated people still need a mask in healthcare settings, as well as on public transportation and in transportation centers such as airports. Also, masks may be required in additional places where required by local, state, and federal guidelines. Question number two. May health care personnel who are fully vaccinated stop wearing masks in the break room? The guidelines say if fully vaccinated, health care personnel can dine and socialize together without masks or physical distancing. However, and this part doesn't really make sense to me, if unvaccinated personnel are present, then everyone is supposed to wear a mask. Question number three. Should we continue to screen patients and dental health care personnel on a daily basis? The answer is still yes. The CDC still recommends daily screening for signs and symptoms of COVID-19. Now, while screenings don't catch asymptomatic people, the CDC recommends continuing to ask screening questions of staff and patients daily. Finally, it's recommended that visual alerts such as signs and posters remain at the entrance and in strategic places in the office to provide instructions about wearing masks and proper hand hygiene. There are a few more suggestions in the ADA fact sheet, but they're all essentially the same recommendations that have been in place since dental offices reopened last year. If you're an ADA member, you can find this fact sheet at ada.org in the COVID-19 Center under Practice Resources. Thank you for listening, and I hope I'll see you again next week.